Welcome back to YouTubers Nate Naria. This is winter. We still we started off August, cold weather. But the 30 watt panel actually produced slightly more power and this goes in line with what I've observed and what I've read that cold weather plus a decent amount of solar radiance does get the job done. So let me show you. <laughs> so winter plus nice solar radiance actually caused this panel to output slightly more power than what it was or at least what I've recorded because it's one thing for panels to be tested in the lab it's another thing for it to be in the real, in, out there in the field or in this case on top of the roof so the angle is way off it is, it's, it's quite off this is something potentially for another video the panels are still as it is this is the star of the show, so let's see what the monitoring system says about the power output. 2.2 amps. Normally it only peaked out at 2.1 amps, and then of course there were a few occasions where it actually only peaked out at 2 amps. The 30 watt panel aimed towards the east. So um, I'm actually quite happy with the results. Of course, if you do the pen and paper 30 divided by 12 volts, you'll sit around with 2.5 amps. But I'm, I'm happy. I'm, it's, I'm pleased with what I see. So this validates the fact that the cables I'm using is actually enough. Because even, it, even I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's that 70% of its capacity is that 80% of its capacity. It's perfectly fine with me and for this dude, same story, same story. Normally reach, there are times he actually peaks out at 3.1 amp right here at the bottom. But it, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that because in a year or two's time I actually want to upgrade the whole system. Because I'm tired of playing just with DC loads. It was fun while it lasted. It's time to grow up. <laughs> it's time to, to level things up a bit. So Chinese panels. It's definitely, from my perspective, it was definitely worth uh, purchasing. But now that panels have gotten cheaper since the day I actually got this 5M charge controller it's roughly 10 years ago. They've gotten a lot cheaper. I saw on one of the stores in one look like a 540 watt panel at 48 volts. It's around 2000 name dollars. You take that and convert it to USD dollars, you'll roughly have an idea of what the price actually is for that. So, only uh, if there are any regrets I have regarding the system, there's only one. It's the fact that I didn't go for the biggest one I could afford back in the day. But then, of course, 10 years ago, the prices were not what they are today. So, 2.2. Ah, oh, man. And here's the thing, I didn't actually have any dump loads prepared. Like, this thing is just on, I don't know. Maybe the radio going off in the background and that even takes a tiny bit of power. Ah oh, man. So I can imagine how privileged and blessed you folks are feeling regarding those cold temperatures. Because the temperature in Banduk, uh, it's only now that it's jumping around. The temperature in Banduk has been hovering around, as I mentioned before, around 2 degrees Celsius according to the Weather Bureau. So... Uh, this is a nice blessing. Thank you guys. Let me keep on admiring and while you are about your business for the day. See you guys in the next one.